Thanks for joining us for Ask Dr. Neha. Uh, we are in San Francisco and we are with Galit. Uh, I am always amazed uh, and honored when people are willing to, you're willing to ask questions and learn and allow other people to learn with you. So thank you for that. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. Yeah. yeah. So what have you been thinking about? What, uh, what, what would you like to tackle? Um, I think communication is a fascinating topic and if I have to choose one um, that challenges me would be around um, friendships mm -hmm. when there is some disagreements um, yeah. and there's an expression of anger, frustration, um, more confrontational kind of emotions. And uh, like I really stronger ones, stronger where people are losing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I am a non-confrontational person mm -hmm. or my personality. So, um, you know, I would like to find a way to just really hold a space that is the most effective for my own boundaries as well as being beneficial for the other person. Well, I have to say, from the beginning, you are really taking accountability of this because most people come in and say that the person who has a temper is bad mm. or who's angry is bad. And you didn't do that. What you asked me for was, how can I manage myself better? So yeah. first off, that's, that's pretty impressive. Um, what type of a situation um, might this happen in, like with your friends? How, how, how might this play out? Um, a lot of times it actually has nothing to do with me where somebody is complaining, uh, reenacting uh, a horrible situation or a fight they had with someone else, but in the process they're basically uh, verbally throwing up on me. So like <laughs> Verbal vomit. <laughs> verbal vomit. And I am like, I, I, I'm experiencing all that anger again because they're, they're, they're yelling, yep. even though they're talking about some, someone else. Yep. Um, what so happens for an you example. in that? Sorry about mm -hmm. that. I, yeah. um, what happened? What happens for you in that moment? Um, I it repels me. I, yep. I want to leave the room. Yep. I want to Sometimes hang, hang do up you the leave phone. The room? Um, I have done that. Now yep. I'm really practicing just staying present to that yep. and uh, breathing. Okay. But I, I tend to check out emotionally because I'm getting charged myself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what are the physical sensations in your body mm -hmm. that tell you, like, when you start hearing somebody's tone change and they get louder and faster in their speech? Yeah. What do you feel inside your body? Definitely feel like, a, you know, a light sweat, uh, mm -hmm. like same kind of symptoms of stress. Yeah. And a constriction either in my chest or in my stomach. So I'm, I, like, I'm forgetting to breathe. Mm. So it's a very protecting uh, constrictive kind of space. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it sounds like you're bracing for whatever's coming yeah, next. Yeah. Yeah. It's protection. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when in your life do you, or have you experienced someone uh, that had strong emotion or expressed strong emotion? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've given some thought to that and it's definitely dates back to my relationship with my mother who is yep. just, uh, you know, Mediterranean, culturally very expressive. It's a uh, type of person who just um, is frustrated or angry and she yells and then she feels better and she goes on with her day, gives me a kiss and I'm still like in the aftershock. <laughs> um, so for me, I'm a lot more sensitive and mm -hmm. uh, kind of, you know, stays with me longer. Okay. So are you willing to try something? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, so how old are you? Like, how young were you when you first remember like a clear experience of that? So, uh, the first thing that just came into my head was a, I must have been six, maybe seven. Yep. I can't really tell. But I had gone bike riding not far from the house, and I fell off my bike, and I came to get like, you know, protection from my mom because I skinned myself. But I actually instead of got almost punished because I dirtied my white shoes and mm. outfit with the mud. Yeah, so, so it was I like was you shocked. did something wrong. Yeah, and she yelled at me at the time. I thought I was going to get her protection. Mm. So um, I remember that being very confusing. Yeah. yeah. So um, the emotion that you felt then was confusing, and what else? Give me another one. Mm. Just not safe. Yeah, so unsafe. Mm. Okay, so in that, that experience, you were little and your mom was big, yeah. right? And now that has all changed. Now you're with your friends, 
and you are the same. Yeah. And they start escalating. And in that moment, you become that same age. So tell me, why do people have temper tantrums? What, what, first, what age group? What age group? That is, would be the terrible twos. Right? Yeah, like yeah. toddlers, right? Yeah. Everyone's known. They're notorious for it. So why do toddlers have temper tantrums? Uh, they just have a hard time expressing themselves. Yeah, like there's something they're trying to get across to us that we are not receiving. And finally, they have a meltdown. Yeah. Right? So in this experience, I'd like you to consider that when people get angry, that there's a part of them that they're unable to express or they're having difficulty expressing. And so they're having their adult version of that. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And so next time you begin to experience this, you are now grown up and this person's grown up. So mm -hmm. you're not unsafe anymore or confused. You actually know that it's not about you. Because what you said to me in the beginning was, sometimes it doesn't even have to do with me. Yeah. But you experience it as if you've done something wrong, mm -hmm. like you did that day on the bike. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you're frozen. You used to leave, now you stay. So you've been able to use breathing as a way to ground your body in that discomfort. So now, what if you tried, um, when you start hearing their voice change tone and get faster, yeah. what if you imagined them in diapers, <laughs> <laughs> right? That's great. Because now yeah. you're big yeah. and they're small because then it's not disrespectful in any way. It's meant to help you disconnect from being that six-year-old who yeah. felt unsafe mm -hmm. and instead shift into compassion and care like you would for someone who was trying to get your attention. Mm, that's great. Yeah? yeah, I love that. So, and the other thing is just if you do think it might be about you, then Get curious, not furious, right? It's I love to say that because in that moment, it's easy when somebody's getting upset to either check out, shut down, leave. Yeah. But really what that person needs is compassion and curiosity. Mm, yeah. I think that's great advice, actually. Yeah? yeah? You want to try it and let me know how that goes? <sighs> yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> up for it, definitely. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thanks. I really appreciate uh, you sharing with us what... What's coming up for you? Mm, thank you. I feel like a lot more space around uh, bringing laughter uh, mm -hmm. as a medicine into situations that would normally get me really stressed out. So that feels amazing. And then the curiosity is a great tool for, again, um, the opposite of constriction. Suddenly, like there's all this space for that person to express themselves more and for me to just not take on too much. So um, I'm yeah. really excited about these tools. Wow. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Yeah. So when, if any of you experience someone in your life who is reactive or has a strong um, expressive personality or sometimes even a temper, uh, pay attention to how you have experienced that in the past and notice if you can shift uh, into curiosity. First, you have to manage yourself. And then after you do that, you shift into curiosity and just ask them if there's, you know, does this have to do with me? Um, I realize I'm taking this personally. Maybe I don't need to. So thank you for joining us, and please keep sending in your questions, and I'll keep answering them.